always perform hand hygiene and provide for patient privacy before beginning patient care. To administer central parenteral nutrition, or CPN, first introduce yourself to the patient. Then identify her using two identifiers. Can I have your name and your date of birth? Naina Patil. Follow strict aseptic technique during infusion tubing and filter changes. Thank you. These components must be replaced every 24 hours. Change them immediately if you suspect that either has become contaminated. Compare the healthcare provider's orders with the Medication Administration Record, or MAR, to ensure that you have the right solution and that it's labeled properly. Check the label of the CPN bag against the MAR or computer printout to be sure they match. Make certain that the solution contains the correct additives and has not expired. A parenteral nutrition supplement typically contains amino acids, glucose, lipids, electrolytes, vitamins, and trace elements. Check for compatibility and confirm the patient's name. Now inspect the CPN solution for particulate matter if it's a 2 to 1 solution or for separation if it's a 3 to 1 solution. All right, that looks great. Now perform hand hygiene. Apply clean gloves. and attach the appropriate filter to the IV tubing. Okay. Prime the tubing with the CPN solution, making sure that no air bubbles remain. Allow the solution to run into the trash receptacle to clear the line. Then use the roller clamp to turn off the flow. Use an alcohol swab to clean the correct port. If a dedicated port is not available, flush the port with a syringe filled with normal saline to clear it of residue. Now connect the end of the tubing to the appropriate central catheter port and label it. All right, now I'm gonna hook it into the infusion pump. Open the roller clamp to a rate that maintains the patency of the line. Next, connect the tubing to an IV infusion pump. Open the roller clamp completely and regulate the flow rate as ordered. Some agencies require that the infusion rate be set immediately to the ordered rate. At other agencies, an initial rate of 40 to 60 milliliters per hour is established first. The rate is gradually increased until the patient's nutritional needs are being met. Refer to your agency's policy to determine the initial rate. CPN access is to be used only for that purpose. If the patient is to receive IV medications or blood, infuse them through a separate line or an alternative lumen. Use a different lumen or port to obtain blood samples and central venous pressure readings as well. In addition, the CPN infusion shouldn't be interrupted for routine patient care or procedures, such as to give the patient a shower, transport her to therapy, or administer a blood transfusion. Once you've completed all required care and discarded your used supplies, remove and discard your gloves. Then document the patient's tolerance of the procedure. Perform hand hygiene as you leave the patient's room.